Hi guys, it's Anthony from Mining Key Sentiments, and we're going to talk about catalytic converter uh, 421, 430, 420, 431. These are all cat efficiency codes for one reason or another. Your catalytic converter could still be all in one piece, uh, meaning it's not ruined, but still have an efficiency code for numerous reasons. So first we're going to discuss why a catalytic converter fails. They last forever, provided that the air-fuel ratio stays correct inside the catalytic converter, which is 14.7 to 1, which is stoichiometric. Anytime that it goes above that and beyond it, it's damaging the catalyst. Typically, most of the reasons why a catalytic converter fails is from a misfire or an ignition component. Uh, and what happens is when that fuel doesn't burn in the time that's allowed in that cylinder, that raw fuel goes down inside the catalytic converter and then when the engine actually fires again, uh, it actually burns that fuel all the way down inside the catalyst. Now the catalyst is soaked in fuel and it actually starts to overheat that catalyst. So a very small misfire over a period of time uh, that necessarily doesn't turn on the check engine light, warning the driver, is damaging the converter. So typically when we see a car uh, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is the inside of the catalytic converter. And you can just see all the soot inside there, which is black. These typically start out uh, and should actually stay a good grayish internal color. Let me try and get this piece out. So, typically, a good gray clean color is how they should stay, provided the engine's running right. But as soon as it starts to misfire, you can see how the outer honeycomb here still looks okay, but if you look down inside of here, inside the brick where the fuel was pulling, it just started to melt away. This is all caused by a misfire typically. Raw fuel getting past the compression uh, cycle, firing all that raw fuel and air back inside the catalytic converter. So first rule of thumb is people come in and say, hey, I need a catalytic converter. We'll typically take a look at the car, check it for some rattling. Here again you can see, melt it down. And that's because the fuel just gets inside the catalyst brick and starts to bake inside and melt down things. Uh, so they come in and most people just say, I need a catalytic converter. But they don't really know any better. Uh, and we try and educate them the best is, the reason the catalytic converter failed is because of something else. These last forever provided the car is running right. So a tune-up, minor or major, will resolve most of these problems. Now there's other sensors and head gaskets and intake gaskets uh, that could ruin a catalyst. But the primary cause is raw fuel entering the catalytic converter. Could be from an injector, you know, that's the least case. But most primarily is the tune-up killed the catalytic converter. Uh, trust me when I say this, if you need a catalytic converter and you're getting 420, 430, 431, uh, 421, the catalytic converter is ruined 90% of the time, if not more, from a bad tune-up or years of a bad tune-up. So there you have it. This is why catalytic converters fail the majority of the time. Meineke Cinnamon.